to play. Actually, the crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that... What? Well, the docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. I'll let you go. Catch you later. Whoa, you cannot go back there. Hi, Nancy. Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? I'll answer that for you. No, you cannot. Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is. But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. See ya. Later. This game looks cool. Can we play? Yes. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. I threw a two. What does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. If you throw a one, four, or five, move a token and then throw the sticks again. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token's starting position. 
If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, each with their own name and design. The square with the Ankh is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the Ankh. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. No fair! do that. Walk it off, Drew. 